Welcome to VT. In today's class, we are going to discuss about basic input and output operation. So, in this concept, we are going to discuss what happens if we want to transfer data from an input output device to the processor. So, consider in the processor, the processor is the fastest device and the input output devices are the slowest devices. So, if I want to transfer uh, data to the input from input output devices to the processor, so, there should be some synchronization operation between a fast working device and a slow working device. So, to do that operation, we are following some procedure for transferring data in between processor and input output device. So, see here, in this diagram, we have taken a processor. It, be, it, it is been connected to the input device. In the example, I have taken a keyboard as an input device and in this diagram, I have taken an output device as display unit and see what are the contents or what are the components that are present in the input device as well as the output device. So, in the input device, we are having a data in resistor. It is a resistor which is going to hold the binary information and we are having S in flag. It is a flag which is, which is going to hold at any time either 0 or 1. So, these S in is called as a the checking flag. It is a checking flag which is going to show the status of this keyboard or the input device. Similarly, in the output device also we are having two contents. One is the data out resistor which is going to hold the data in terms of binary and we are having a flag resistor called as S out flag which is going to hold the status information of the output device. Now, if the processor wants to receive the data from the input device, then what is the sequence that is followed, we will see in this concept. Initially, we have to check the flag bit. So, consider the initial state of S in as 0. So, when S in is equal to 0, we are not performing any type of data transfer between keyboard and processor. So, whenever S in is equal to 1 only, we are going to perform the operation from the input device to the process. So, when a key is struck on the keyboard, when a key is struck on the keyboard, it, it is going to be converted into an 8-bit binary information and it is stored in the buffer register, data in buffer register. So, what happens when a key is struck in the keyboard? The whatever the key that we are pressing in the keyboard, that ASCII character will be converted into binary information as 8-bit binary information and that 8-bit information will be stored in the data in register. So, in data in register, now we are having the whatever the character we have pressed to that value, the binary equivalent value is present in the data in register. Now, after that, we are going to check the status flag. So, the status control flag S in is set to 1 when it is going to be having a valid character in the data in register. So, this is the important point here. So, when the S in flag will be set to 1 is whenever there is a valid character in the data in register, then only it will be set to 1. Otherwise, it will be in zero state only. So, we have to remember whenever the data in uh, register is holding a valid data, then only the S in flag will be set to 1. And a program monitors S in and when S in is set to 1, it reads the content of data in. See here, whenever S in is set to 1, then only the data will be transferred from the input device to the processor, that is from data in register to the processor. Until unless the S in is equal to 1, we are not going to perform any operation, any input output, input output operation to the processor. So, this is what happening in the input operation. Similarly, when we are going to perform the output operation, the same will be checked for the S out flag and after checking the S out flag, we are going to perform the output operation. The output operation means from processor to the output device. So, here the input operation once again we are going to see that whenever the S in is equal to 1, then the processor will consider that the input device is ready and it is going to start 
transferring the data from the keyboard to the processor. So by checking the yes in, processor is performing the input output input output operation. Or if the processor is ready and it wants to transfer data to the output device, now it is going to check the yes out flag. And if it is set to one, then it is simply going to transfer the data. So now we will see what happens for the output operation. So the basic output operation initially the state of s out will be 1 remember when s out is equal to 1 only we are going to perform the output operation the output operation is from processor to the output device whatever the output device we have connected in this example we have taken the output device as display unit so what are the general display units we are having keyboard uh, monitors printers speakers all these can be considered as the output devices. So in this example, I have taken the display unit as the output device. So initially, S out should be 1. So when S out is equal to 1, the display is ready to receive the character. So which indicates S out is a status flag bit. If S out is 1, then the processor will understand that the output device is ready to receive the characters. And the program monitors S out. And when S out is set to 1, the processor will transfer a character code to the buffer register called as data out. So the processor is going to transfer the data to the buffer register that is the data out register. And after performing the uh, whole data transfer to the data out register, the S out will be cleared to 0. So here S out will be cleared to 0 whenever the processor has performed transferring the complete information to the data out register. So this is what happens in the basic output operation. So here also the processor is checking the condition of yes out flag and if it is one only then only it is going to perform the data transfer operation. Otherwise it is uh, doing the other operation. So here in the basic input output operation depending upon the flag bits the processor is going to perform the operation so the processor is not waiting it it's a time to perform any data or transfer operations to the input and output devices by checking the flags only it is performing the operations so one of the disadvantage of such type of uh, input output operations is the processor wants to check the flag bits continuously for performing any type of operation so this is one of the disadvantage for this type of operation so here we are going to see some program related to this data transfer so in order to perform the input output transfer we need to check the uh, status bits of the flag so to perform the operation between the processor and input output device so in the processor let us consider we are, we are having a status register in this we are having two flag bits let us consider one is s out flag bit and another one is s in flag bit now i am writing a simple program to check the s in and perform the input operation similarly to check the s out flag and perform the output operation so for that i am writing a read weight uh, loop in that i am checking branch to read weight if s in is equal to zero and if s in is equal to zero I am going to repeatedly checking the, the executing this particular instruction only. Why? Because I have written the read wait loop and checking the yes in. So if yes in is equal to zero means it is going to continuously uh, repeating the same operation. Whenever yes in is equal to one, then it is simply going to perform the execution of this instruction. What happens in this instruction is input from data in to R1. Input from data in to R1. So we are going to simply input the data from data in register to R1. R1 is a processor register. So we are transferring simply the data from the data in register to R1. Data in register is present in the keyboard. It is called as a buffer register. And from that we are transferring data to R1. So similarly, the output operation is also going to be done in the similar manner by using a right weight loop instruction. Here we have written uh, branch to right weight if s out is equal to 0. Until unless s out is equal to 1, this uh, the operation will be performed iteratively 
when s out is equal to 1 simply it is going to execute this instruction what happens here is output data from r1 to data out register so r1 is the processor register from r1 we are outputting the data to data out register so the data out register is present in the uh, the output device now coming to the uh, the simple program whatever the program that we have uh, seen uh, previously that program in an elaborated form we have written here so the same thing is being uh, explained in an elaborated so read wait testing the third bit position in the status uh, register and if it is zero branching to read wait means we are branching to this position Whenever Sn is equal to 0, if Sn is equal to 1, simply we are coming to move byte instruction and performing the data uh, input operation from data in register to R1. Similarly, for the right loop, we are checking the, uh, the test bit of status register. Uh, in this, we are checking the S out. If S out is equal to 0, simply looping to the same operation, continuously checking for S out. And if S out is equal to one simply we are going to execute this instruction in this instruction we are simply moving the data from r1 to data out register so this is uh, the concept related to the basic input and output operation in a computer thank you